New tonight at 11 o'clock. Remember this video? We showed it to you last December. A brazen theft from a Spokane shopping cart with the victim standing right next to it. The thief was arrested for stealing that woman's purse, but it doesn't end there. Now, deputies say she's caught up in a theft ring with multiple victims. Deputies arrested the woman in that video and another man this week on multiple charges. She already pleaded guilty in that purse theft case back in January, but deputies say she's now caught up in this bigger theft ring, and the sheriff says it's proof something else needs to be done to control these repeat offenders. KXY Force Grace Ditzler working for you tonight on that story. Grace? Melissa, the sheriff's office tells me this is an ongoing problem in the community. Repeat offenders going back on the streets and committing more crimes. One big issue is overcrowding of our jail. The Spokane County Sheriff's Office says property crime is not just a nuisance, but has the potential to turn violent and says it's time to get serious about repeat offenders. I'm glad to, to, the, that to see her come to justice and I hope I personally hope that she gets some help. That's Stan Weisbeck back in December wishing the best for the woman who stole his wife's purse right out from under her. He hoped this would be a turning point for 29 year old Rachel Ward White. But fast forward four months. The search warrant today came about from an investigation that's that's led back for quite some time um, looking into Miss Ward White's continued criminal activity throughout Spokane County, Spokane Valley, and the city. Ward White was arrested again this week in connection with at least seven crimes. This morning, the Spokane County Property Crimes Task Force served a warrant on this block, also in connection with those crimes. She recovered eight different weapons, including one that had already been previously reported stolen, and the other being a modified shotgun or shortened shotgun. Law enforcement arrested 39-year-old Lawrence T. Brown, a convicted felon, on multiple charges. Property crimes deputy Mark Gregory says are anything but routine. It is a bigger problem that the electeds in the community, the community itself, is going to need to come up with a solution. Because arresting people and stating that it's nonviolent and putting them back on the street just allows them to go commit crimes again. Exactly what's happened with Rachel Ward White. Deputy Gregory says the community needs to come up with a better solution to address these types of crime. These criminals out there, we have to hold accountable when they continue to commit these crimes. The citizens deserve it and our safety demands it. And Brown and Ward White each face multiple charges, including weapons charges, property theft, and identity theft. In a statement today, Sheriff Knezovich said, we need to get serious with repeat offenders and keep them off our streets. When asked about a solution, the Sheriff's Office says it needs to be a community effort. Reporting in studio, Grace Ditzler, KXLY4 News. Thanks so much, Grace.